got a quick video here on identification of Caro centers in quite a nasty looking molecule. The molecule, if you're interested, is dexamethasone. It's actually used in the treatment of COVID-19. So very, very topical at the moment. Okay, so if you want to have a go at that, identify the Caro centers and then calculate the total number of optical isomers. And then when you're ready, I'll go through the answers. Okay, so what we're looking for are carbon atoms that have got four different groups attached or different atoms attached. So the first one in the molecule is this one here. So you've got this group here, you've got this here, this methyl group here, and you've also got this group down here. So four different things off that carbon. So we'll just highlight that one. And then the next one is this one here so you've got the fluorine you've got up to this carbon with the oh on you've got down to there and down to there next one is this one here so on this one you've got the oh you've got this bond down here with this carbon with the fluorine on you've got this up to this ch2 so where's the fourth one so obviously there's a hydrogen on there which isn't shown in skeletal formula which students sometimes miss so there's one um, this isn't chiral because you've got two hydrogens on there. This one is because you've got CH2. You've got to go down You go down to there. Cross to here with this OH on and that's CH3. So the next one, this one here. So we've got this group here, this group here, up to there and an H. This one here, so again and an H, and then if we move into this um, pentagon ring, so we've got this one here, you can see obviously there's one, two, three, four on that one, and the final one is this one here, so you've got this methyl group, you've got this CH2 down in here, you've got this group here, and you've got hydrogen. So all together, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So to calculate the total number of optical isomers, it's just two to the power of the number of chiral centers. So it's two to the power eight, which is 256. So the second question is pretty standard question for chirality. So we've got to identify the chiral center in two amino butane and then draw 3D diagrams of the optical isomers. So the first thing we'll do is draw up the displayed formula. I think that's the easiest way to see it. So butane would have four carbons. Two amino means there's an NH2 group on carbon two. And then we just fill it up with hydrogen. So now we've got that, we can identify the chiral center. So we're looking for a carbon atom with four different groups attached. So it's this carbon here. So why is it that carbon? Well, what have we got on here? We've got a methyl group. We've got a hydrogen. We've got an NH2 group. And we've got an ethyl group. So we've got four different groups attached to that pink carbon. So that's your chiral carbon. So the way I get my students to do this, draw that carbon and then draw an empty blank tetrahedron. Obviously, it's going to be tetrahedral around that carbon because there's four bonds, four bond and pairs of electrons. Draw a mirror. And then just do another blank tetrahedron, but this time it's the mirror image. So you can see this bond here in the mirror would be there and so on. And then literally just choose where you're going to put your groups. So if we just sort of follow this, we'll have, let's have the NH2 there. Let's have the C2H5 there. Let's have the H there. And let's have the CH3 there. And then for the mirror image, the optical isomer, we literally just mirror what we've got on the left in the blank tetrahedron on the right. So obviously the NH2 goes there, the H goes there. But on this dashed line, we've actually got the ethyl group would be there and the CH3 would be there. 